The air spacing games is given attention as well as the other parts. Player may not pay attention to the sky that often, however, when there are some aircrafts, it allows you to visually make the world around the player more extensive and livelier. Planes, helicopters help to add to the boring sky and clouds more dynamic. And by the way, it's a great game detail which you definitely want to see in modern game. Hey, my name is Nikolai. I haven't been here on YouTube for a while because I was moving to another city. But now let's continue and take a look at how airplanes work in games and how we can interact with them. In terms of how planes work, the first approach is to use 3D models. They have their own shape, animation and trajectory. In most games, the players are unable to interact with these objects. There is no way you can affect them. However, there are some exceptions, as GTA V for instance. Hero can affect the plane movement, steal them or shoot them down. These aircrafts have a meaningful trajectory, they can land and take off in airports and helipads. In some games like Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2, real 3D models of the helicopters only appear in certain scenarios, when the police are chasing you. Planes and helicopters are part of the gameplay in Far Cry 5. Enemies patrol the airspace and often attack the player. 3D models are used in games to detail the airspace around the player in the most realistic way. To give it more dimension and volume, developers use the second approach, textures and sky material, to show the planes flying in the distance and their tracks in the sky. The planes here are not 3D models, they are just animated textures. This approach has several advantages. Visually it looks realistic, we often see planes in real life exactly so far away from us, and we usually see these white traces of the trajectory. This approach does not require distance rendering of 3D objects. You don't need to worry about shadows. You don't need to use particles to create traces, you just use the texture, which is better for your performance. If you work with Unreal Engine 4, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a tutorial on how you can create these airplane trajectories in your sky. To make sky even more realistic, developers often combine these two methods, as here in GTA 5 and in Battlefield. And as you can see, the developers pay attention to the sky to make the world around the player more natural. Small details like trajectory of an airplane will make your sky more detailed and attractive to view. Now, in case you haven't noticed, the doors in games are much larger than in real life. Find out why in one of my previous videos. And also, it's not that easy to recreate real scale in games. I made a video about why real scale doesn't work in games as well and you can watch it now. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to like this video if you want to see more content of how an amazing game worlds are constructed. See you in the next video.